Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we are gonna be talking about how we can update the state of our parent component from the child component. All right, so to get started, in the last tutorial, we created this counter. So here we have the state. The state object has a property of counter, which is initialized to zero. We have this function that's just going to increment that counter. And whenever I click this button, that counter gets updated. So let's go ahead and if I was just to bring this here, we click the button, our counter goes up. But now what happens if I want to update the parent state from the child? So I have two components here. App is going to be the parent component. And then I have the child component, which is named child. So let's go ahead and comment this out. And what we're going to do is pass down our counter state as a prop to the child component. So we'll just pass counter and we'll say this dot state dot counter. So we have our state counter being passed as a counter prop to the child component. So let's go ahead and have a return statement here. Let's create a div. And let's give it a title. We'll say child component. And before we do anything, I just want to show you guys, in case you guys forgot, that props cannot be changed. So if I was to say props.counter and try to change it like this. So if I was to save this, you see that we get an error. Okay, so none of this should be new. So if I can't change props at all, how am I supposed to update the state from the child component? Well, the answer to this is we need to pass down a handler. So what's a handler? A handler is just a function. So for example, instead of passing counter directly, what we can do is let's not pass counter at all, but we could pass increase counter as a prop. So increase counter is right here. It's just a function. And we are just going to pass that function reference. Okay, so now let us come down here. Let's do some destructuring. We want to pull out increase counter from the props object. And instead, what we can do is create our own button within the child component. And we could attach a listener. And all we need to do is pass that reference to the increase counter. So we'll just come out here and say, click me, go ahead and save this. Now let's take a look at what we get. So I click me and you see that it is finally updating. Okay. So that seems pretty easy. I can't directly change the state of our parent component, but what I can do is pass a handler that changes the state. Okay, so let's say now let's take this to another level that I don't just want to call this function, but I want to be able to pass arguments to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a copy of this and let us, I'm just going to comment this. We'll save that for a reference. And let's say that this increase counter takes a parameter of num. And instead of just incrementing the counter by one, will increment the counter by whatever they pass in. Okay. So now you would think, Hey, I have this reference to the increase counter. All I need to do is just pass in a number. So I'll say 15. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll see that this will not work. And let's bring this in here You see it doesn't work. Maximum update depth exceeded. This can happen when a component repeatedly calls the set state. So basically we're within an infinite loop. So what's happening here? Well, on click is expecting a reference to a function. When we say increase counter and then these parentheses and then 15, we are actually invoking this function. So once we invoke this function, the set state occurs and this updates the UI. Once the UI is updated, you can see we get returned to the return statement 
And this is going to keep invoking itself over and over and over again. So we're basically in an infinite loop. So how can we avoid this infinite loop? Well, one way we could do it is to use an anonymous function. And we'll put this in here. Paste that in here. Let's go ahead and save. And now we should be good to go. You can see that our counter is being updated by 15. So why does this work, but the other way doesn't? Well, basically what we're doing here is creating an anonymous arrow function, and this is not being executed. We're just declaring it. So we're saving this reference for the on click. And when I click the button, this anonymous function gets invoked and our anonymous function is then calling our increase counter. So that's what's happening. So that's how we could pass arguments to our event handlers. But there's actually another way to do this. So let's go ahead and copy this. And let me get rid of that. And this is with bind. So what we can do is say increase counter dot bind will pass in this and then the argument or the number that we want to increase by. So let's say we want to increase by 50. Let's go ahead and save this, bring that up here. See the first one works, increasing by 15. Second way works just as well. So if you want to pass an argument, these are the two ways you could go about doing it. The next thing I want to talk about is what happens now in this tutorial, we're not going to have any use case for using the event object, but let's say if you're working with forms and you need to prevent the default action from happening. Well, in order to access the event object, we could pass in E to the anonymous function. And then from here, we could pass this back as an argument. Now for the bind function, we don't have to explicitly pass E. The bind function automatically does this for us. So if we come back here and we just need to modify the parameters to have E, let's go ahead and print out E, go ahead and save it. Let's bring this back up. We're going to hit F12 and you can see the event object being printed. And if we were to do that with the bind, you can see that it works exactly the same. We still have access to the event object. So that is pretty much the ins and outs of updating the parent state from the child component. So I hope you guys learned something and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial.